Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound. <clears throat> Hope everyone's doing well and that that uh, you guys are having a fantastic holiday season. Uh, so I was uh, tagged a few times uh, on this particular video short that we're going to take a look at here momentarily. Uh, it's from user M4A2 Master. Uh, name sounds very familiar. Uh, I think I've seen him either... Uh, comment in one of my videos before but um had also uh joined on a few live streams that that i was a part of at some point but anyways he had posted this video of a silver eagle and i was like oh, okay well let's go ahead and take a look and uh I, I didn't know that this video existed because it was uploaded yesterday december 25th on christmas day so I had a number of people that, that had uh, sent me this link and say, hey, I would love to see your thoughts on this coin. It just looks funny to me. I'm like, okay, um, toned Silver Eagle. Uh, I've, I've had my kind of differences about these coins in the past, and I'm not particularly a fan of them because a lot of them do seem very unnatural to me. Uh, but keep in mind, this is a, a, um, a very rich kind of collectible area arena that we're we're diving in and that's the toned market uh whether it's silver eagles morgan dollars peace dollars um there's just there's a lot of money wrapped up in this particular segment of numismatics today and even as we head into 2023 i doubt things are going to change uh these are typically collected f for their artistic kind of appeal um, and that's where a lot of the premium comes into play. The, the more realistic the colors and the changes are, uh, the, and uh, the progression from one color to the next, um, the more that they're worth. All right. And there's certain colors like green and, you know, light blues are worth a lot more money, um, than most others. Uh, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this uh, this little short video. It's, it probably runs about maybe 30 seconds. Um, it has kind of a baseline to it, uh, no actual talking narration over it. Um, so I, what I did was I um, uh, I took that out of the video so that way we don't have to hear it in here. But uh, the title of this one is "Come Check This Straight Graded." I didn't get the whole. I mean, we'll see it here momentarily. But let's go ahead and play this thing. Pretty impressive, kind of like uh, centered, targeted toning. Uh, I want you guys to to keep <clears throat> uh, keep in mind this um, NGC uh, grade number here, so four nine six seven four eight two dash zero one two, because I think this is something that you guys need to know about. And I ended up um, getting more information that's that's going to kind of tie in to this particular um, uh, number here. Uh, but it's a burnished, burnished Silver Eagle 2019 West Point Eagle, $1 early release, Mid-State 69. All right, so that's it. That's the extent of the video. I guess I'll just continue playing it as I talk, but... Um, as you can see, uh, the colors, you know, at first glance to a lot of people who are in the Tony market, um, there's certain things that they want to see. And this, this particular toning pattern, because it's centered and targeted on the coin is, is a rarity. You don't see this that often. As a matter of fact, most folks, most purists in the toning hobby will tell you that looks completely unnatural. You know, it looks artificial. There's just no way that that particular, toning pattern can coexist on a coin uh normally you know when it comes to coins that, that have been sitting in paper rolls and keep in mind uh, the environment in which these coins are stored at will ultimately kind of decide and render what the coloration is going to be on the coin there's moisture there's heat there's various chemicals in the containers or the paper wrappers that they sit in or maybe it's an album um, I mean, there's a lot of things going on and not to mention that this level of coloration um, has to develop over many years. Okay, so the fact that this coin is barely three years old certainly raises a red flag for me. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Um, and looking on eBay, guys, if you look up and down the list here, you're going to find that, uh, you know, the market is robust. There are 2,200 plus uh, results for Silver Toned Eagle, in which that is what I typed in to the search bar. And it came up with over 2,000 uh, uh, results, hits, so to speak. Uh, the, the most expensive being this Mint State 70, 1986 rather, which is the first year of the Silver Eagle at $5,000. And you can tell there is some, uh, some folks kind of like they have a vested interest in, um, in if this will sell for that amount of money because there's no best offer option. But that doesn't mean that you can't reach out to the seller and say, hey, Will you accept four grand or forty five hundred? I mean, you could always do do offers in that way. Um, but as we scroll on down, I mean, you're going to see a lot of coins with a lot of toning. Uh, some of it very highly questionable. Other others are just so um, like this ninety four right here. You know, could be believable, uh, but it's a very dark, very terminal toning. Um, it's one of the least desirable type of tonings that you can um, that you can expect. You know, that people desire, you, you know, um, people want toning like this 1991 that you see here and they want less of what you see on the 94. Uh, but in any event, um, there are some pretty wild tone coins. The question really comes down to is what we're seeing here indicative of what toning should look like after only 30 years of progression it, that's kind of, uh, kind of where we're sitting at right now. And it's because of the fact that the market is so large with over 2,000 listings of, of toned Silver Eagles, or in hindsight, you know, of that search, because we also saw a couple coins that weren't toned at all, or they were a completely different coin. Um, the question really remains, is, there, is this something that we could all unquestionably trust you know, as, as being something that we can, you know, comfortably put money into and feel like that it's going to uh, evolve to the next level as far as its desirability, its price, um, its future marketability, things like that. You know, and that's kind of, you know, you guys talk to me on any other given time and I'm going to tell you, I do not personally believe in toned silver eagles. Uh, I mean, I mean, look at coins like this. It, you know, it, the, the biggest problem that I have with coins like this is that they are straight graded in a PCGS holder, okay, Mid-State 65, um, which is kind of strange uh, because you usually don't see grades that low for Silver Eagles, um, you know, but looking that one, I mean, that thing is like radioactive, ladies and gentlemen, how in the world does a coin turn into that without it being helped along at some point? Um, and this, this is guys, this is nothing new, right? People manipulate coins all the time and, uh, it, you know, grading companies, they're imperfect. We want to believe them as being the trusted source for things like this, but how can you dispute a large grading company like PCGS or NGC when it comes to coins that look like this, if they straight graded it, right? The, um, the idea is we're supposed to trust them. And because of that, we should pay all the money in the world to own such coins like that. Um, I, I'm a visual person. I, I love incredibly hyper-toned coins, more so on the Morgan and Peace side. Peace is very rare, you know, because the, those particular coins didn't, didn't sit in bank vaults as long as Morgan dollars did. Plus, there's also the conversation of, uh, well, the surfaces of a of Peace dollar seem a little bit different. You know, or maybe they have a certain type of different grease on them. Um, you know, back in the day when they were struck. I don't know. It's all speculative. Um, but, you know, you could go up and down the list. And you see things, you know, 2002, uh, which looks like the sun with a white hole in the middle. Uh, here's 1986. That's like a bluish um, kind of purpley toning. You know, that's also straight graded. There's a lot of straight graded coins in here. There's proof coins. There's other different types of kind of like burnished or uncirculated uh, silver eagles. I mean, you know, there's a lot of it. Okay, so 
and, and there's PCI holders, you know, they're a holder I don't particularly trust myself, but you know, you can look at certain coins like this 96 and say, well, because of how, um, uh, how uneven the toning is and, and how, you know, kind of unattractive the coloration is, you know, that's a coin that I feel like I could trust a little bit more and also its age than I would say the 2019 W that we just witnessed on that YouTube short. So, um, you know, I mean, look at this thing. How does this happen? This is, this is all, uh, something that's helped along because, you have a very hard edge on the obverse uh, of the contrast between the toning pattern and no toning at all that something had to have been sitting on it, whether it be another coin or something. Um, and then the reverse, I mean, there, there's just a lot here um, that is quite unnatural. And and grading companies do grade coins uh, with unnatural toning, all right? And they'll designate it as such. You know, they'll call it... Um, uh, artificial um, uh, or questionable color, rather, is uh, the term that they use uh, to designate something that was artificially toned. But we're seeing like a record amount of coins here, guys, that are graded in PCGS and NG, well, mostly PCGS at this point. Uh, but you see like these wild toned kind of coins that, you know, would, would take it would take decades to develop over time. And, uh, you know, this is a 2013, it's a nine year old coin. How does it develop this kind of toning is beyond me. But that also leads to, uh, uh, to my next point is, you know, this is all well and good until you get your hands caught in the cookie jar. All right. So the coin that we looked at to kind of kick off the video, the 2019 West point, you guys keep an eye out for that, um, that grading number, which is this. Guess what? I have a side by side, right? Uh, so we have essentially two NGC holders with the black insert. I mean, these are all kind of like little fingerprint attributes, is what I like to call it. Okay, It'd be a different story if it was a white insert with a different label. But if you could see this picture on the left, uh, the picture is taken with a little bit more darkness to it. There's not nearly as much light. Therefore, the label looks and appear a little bit kind of like bluer is because there's not enough light on the image while the picture was being taken. It, it, honestly, it looks like it was done in a flatbed scanner, which does not take the best uh, scanned images. Um, but when we look at that submission number or that grading number on the NGC holder, what do you guys see? The coin on the left is a untoned example. The coin on the right is the one that we had checked out on the YouTube short. If you compare it, they're the same. They're not supposed to be the same because the coins inside of them look comparatively different. So what in the hell happened here? Well, that could only mean one thing. Someone cracked out the slab and they did some sort of witchcraft bullcrap on the coin and then put it back into the holder, resealed it, which you can do, all right? Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort uh, because on an NGC holder, there are seams on there. And then you could cut where the seams are, reseal it, and then go on in your merry way. You know, you either resell it, you know, make a ton of money or what have you. But this is very concerning. And this one right here, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of like comparison is is really a bad look. It's a really bad look when you get caught. When you don't get caught, it's just like, oh, okay, we're going to have to accept the fact that the market has these toned monster silver eagles in the marketplace, but there's no really backstory on them. It's like, it's in a holder. You either elect to buy it or you don't. But in this particular case, we have a coin that was posted on a YouTube short no less than 24 hours ago. Yet we have the coin on the left that's ungraded. Now you guys are probably going to say, well, Blue, where did you get the picture of the coin on the left? Did you doctor it? Did you do anything funny to implicate someone? Glad you guys asked because this is going to blow your mind, right? That was actually a coin that sold on December 4, 2022. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit cut off, but I'm going to click into the listing so you can see the whole thing. 2019 West Point U.S. Silver American Eagle um, early releases burnished NGC Mid-State 69 by Kanawa Coin Shop. 
uh, in Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, for In total, shipped for $47 with 11 bits. Uh, so when we click into the image to actually see the full listing, uh, which I did, and it's going to take a second here. Let's see. Uh, there it goes. Um, you're going to get a little bit more information. All right. You're going to see that this is indeed the coin that I had highlighted on the comparison. Um, yeah, my computer is dog shit slow this morning. Sorry, guys. Uh, but when we look, there you go. There's a little close-up of that that label number, 4967482-012. Guess what? Same exact number as the coin that was highlighted on the YouTube short by M482 Master. All right? This is bad. This is not good. It's not good, uh, you know, uh, probably more so to the person that submitted or uploaded that YouTube short. Um, because there's only been 21 days between the coin was purchased and when it, when that video was ultimately uploaded yesterday on Christmas day, come to find out we're all opening up a present and finding a big old piece of coal. And guess what it is? It's this coin right here, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to bring this to light. Uh, I, it's my understanding that. Uh, there are a number of people that are reporting this particular coin to NGC, and you're probably again going to ask, well, what's that going to do? They're going to slap their hand? Well, in a way, yeah. What they're going to do is they're going to delist the coin. They're going to take that particular um, uh, graded number, and they're going to remove it from their database, making it uh, ineligible um, in their database. So if someone bought the coin, and believe me, when a coin is that that wildly toned and it and let's say uh, it reaches the marketplace what's that going to do all right trust me on this when it, when a coin is going to enter into the marketplace that looks as wildly toned as as what was on that youtube short video and it sells for three four grand or that's the asking price get guess what collectors are going to do the people that really matter that have the money to spend on stuff like that they're going to go on NGC's website. They're going to enter in that 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 barcode number to designate that particular coin. And they're going to find it not even on there. That's going to be a red flag. People are going to deter from actually pushing the buy a now button or putting in a bid or whatever happens. It's just, you know, it's unfortunate that things like this are happening, you know, um, not entirely the fault uh, of of the grading companies. Sure, you know, they, they have been caught on a few occasions straight grading some of these wildly toned silver eagles. And I'm not afraid to call them out. Uh, you know, it, it just happens. You know, there's something that they see that they believe like, okay, we can certainly pass this. But there is no disputing the fact that there are unscrupulous individuals um, out there People who are doctoring these coins, they're cracking them as slabs, and then they're repackaging them back in the original plastic with the label, and, you know, people won't know any better, all right? Which, again, it's really easy to do, especially with NGC slabs. Uh, PCGS, you have to do a little bit of work on it, because uh, those are sonically sealed, I guess. Um, and and they don't have an obvious seam on them, whereas the NGC holders do. Um, so... The question is, what are we going to do at this point? Nothing. I, this is simply a, a video driving awareness to the public that these things are out there. A little word to the wise. You know, buy them, hate them, do whatever you want to do. These are artistic pieces. And, you know, the fact that they're in graded holders and things like this are happening, you know, there's a lot of subjectivity to that. There's going to be a lot of like, oh, now I don't believe what I see in the holder is true to what the grade is. You know, you know, that's going to be your stuff, you know, but I wanted to drive a little bit of awareness that this is something that is truly going on, but not just with silver eagles, but with a lot of coins in general. You know, when we look at toned Lincoln cents, you know, especially proof ones and all sorts of other coins that we're seeing being sold uh, on eBay, you notice that they're not selling for a ridiculous ton amount of money like they were 10 years ago. People are kind of wise to the fact that these raw ungraded toned Lincoln cents 
are selling for 10 to 20 bucks. And they're selling for that low amount of money because people understand and they know that it's artificial. Because if they weren't artificial, they would be sitting in a graded holder, you know, being consigned to great collections or heritage auctions. If they come out straight graded, man, that's going to be a very expensive coin. And we've seen such examples of 1950s and 1960s Lincoln cents would absolutely bomb toning sell for thousands of dollars you know but as far as the numerical grade is concerned it's totally unwarranted it's undeserved so you need to really put yourself out there do your homework before you before you throw down some serious cash on some of these toned coins because you're gonna find a little bit of piece of information like i did with the sale of this particular coin compared to the one that was being highlighted by that user on youtube and you're going to find that, wow, man, this is so egregious and it's so concrete. It's in our face. This is not good. That's going to leave you guys to kind of save and persevere, save a little bit of money before you go and drop three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on such coins. And for the people that are going to be, you know, uh, consigning it to the big auction houses, they're going to be aware too because what they do is they audit that grade label number that's right on that that uh, piece of paper and if it's not in the database it's done it's toast it, it's a coin that has to be resubmitted somehow some way so again nothing new this is a practice that's been going on for uh, a long time now but this is kind of like we caught you red-handed we caught your hand in the cookie jar and this is something that's gonna be uh going on till the end of time so save your money protect your wallets and your pocketbooks and always do your research but that's going to go ahead and do it you guys have a wonderful new year i will see you back with more coin videos so long y'all take it easy